Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Can I use OBD2 on OBD1? Typically OBD2 scanners cannot read OBD1 data, even with an adapter cable. If you're looking to just pull codes then jumpering terminals A and B at the ALDL connector under the dash and counting the check engine light flashes is the most reliable way to get codes from an OBD1 GM. Is there an OBD1 reader? ANOVA 3123 OBD1 scanner is an ideal code reader for the US GM cars and trucks manufactured from 1982 to 1996. It is a friendly and modern device to find out the problems in the vehicles. It is an affordable device for the common people. Anyone can use it after reading the sum instructions on the manual book. What year did OBD2 end? All cars built since January 1, 1996 have OBD2 systems. Manufacturers started incorporating OBD2 in various models as early as 1994. Some early OBD2 cars were not 100% compliant. Less than click here greater than to see the dates OBD2 started being included on specific makes and models. Are OBD scanners universal? OBD scanners are universal and will read generic fault codes. Some vehicles, however, use both generic and manufacturer-specific fault codes. Many of the manufacturer-specific codes may not be read by a basic universal type OBD scanner. Can you tune OBD1? The process for tuning OBD1 GM products is pretty much the same for all 86 to 93 model years. First, a chip adapter is used to convert whatever the ECM in question needs into a form that accepts a 28-pin EPROM. After a chip adapter has been installed in an ECM, tuning can begin. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. 